Here we have the definitions of the different types of conductors. So we have bare conductors, covered conductors, and insulated conductors. Let's start with bare, which is the simplest type. A bare conductor is a conductor without any insulation or covering whatsoever. All right, so bare copper or bare aluminum is a bare conductor, just like its name would imply. So here we've got some bare eight gauge copper. Uh, it's used for bonding uh, these uh, ladder cups right around a swimming pool, as well as the mesh for the deck. All right, so that would be a bare conductor. Another example of where we find a bare conductor would be maybe a grounding electrode conductor going to a ground rod. We might see a bare conductor overhead that's used as the neutral on the uh, line side of the service equipment. That could be a bare conductor as well. On the other side of the spectrum, we have the insulated conductor. And that's a conductor that's covered with a material or a thickness of material that is recognized as insulation by the National Electrical Code. All right, so looking at this conductor, this is type MTW or THHN or THWN-2. So this has multiple ratings on it. All of those are recognized as insulation by the NEC. This is thermoplastic insulation. Another type would be thermoset or uh, crosslink polyethylene. So there's a lot of different types of uh, insulated conductors. But an insulated conductor means that it has a covering that's recognized as insulation in the NEC. I'll give you an example of a conductor that's not insulated as far as the NEC is concerned. DLO cable, diesel locomotive cable. Go to 310.4 and find DLO cable in the code. You're not going to. That's not recognized in the NEC. So if you have me a piece of DLO cable and say, hey, what's the impasse and what's the rules? I'm going to say, well, there is no impasse and there are no rules. You can't install it. It's not recognized by the NEC. Now, if you have DLO cable and you're freaking out right now, keep reading on your wire because it probably says DLO slash RHH slash RHW-2. And of course, RHH and RHW-2, those are recognized by the NEC. Those are examples of thermoset insulation. So that would be an insulated conductor. Where things get weird is you would think insulated and bare, and that's the end of the conversation, right? You have a wire, it's either insulated or it ain't. Well, you have something in the middle that we call covered. And that's a conductor that's covered with a material or a thickness of material that's not recognized as insulation by the NEC. So inside of this NM cable, you have a insulated conductor that's white, another insulated conductor that's black, and then you have this solid piece of copper that's not insulated, we know that, but it's also not bare. Because remember, Bear said there's nothing on it whatsoever. Well, look, this has paper and it has a cable sheath over it. So that would be a covered conductor. We don't recognize paper or NM cable sheathing as insulation. So that would be a covered conductor. Same thing with this, and I, I hate using air quotes, I hate being that guy, but same thing with the Bear aluminum conductor here. Well, it's not Bear because it has the SE jacket around it. So it's not insulated, it's not bare, it's a covered conductor.